Hi everybody, I'm back with another quick and easy tutorial for craftingonabudgetstore.com. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Michelle and we just finished up our little cones, our little Christmas cones, and I thought I would just show you what I'm going to do with the leftover scraps. I told you that I was going to make some place cards um, for everybody's uh, play setting. And so I thought I'd make one or two on camera just so you see how I make mine. Like I said, when we made the file folder, I said keep your scraps because I am using the file folder for the base. It makes a really nice sturdy base for your um, place card. And you don't have to go out to the store and buy place cards. It's a waste of money when you can make them yourself. Um, especially when you have scraps on hand and so I'm using scraps from my file folder project and I'm using scraps from the rest of what we have left from the Stamperia Romantic Christmas. So the first thing you need is a piece of the file folder or heavy cardstock three and a half by two and a half and you're going to score it at a quarter because this is what it's going to look like when it sits up um, for your uh, place card holder and then you're going to need pieces um, that I cut out of my scraps that are going to mat this and I like to mat it on both sides I'm going to use the Yoohoo glue because I really liked it um, but these measure one and an eighth by two and seven eighths and I'm just matting this on the front there we go and on the reverse I probably could just put my glue down here because I kind of know where it's going just be careful not to go over if you do it that way and I didn't so that's good um, and then next what you want to do is you want to have a tiny piece one and five eighths by half um, and that is going to be for your name. Now, normally I would put the name in the middle of my card, but because we have that advent calendar and I decided, you know what, I'm not going to make another advent calendar, but we have these cute little pieces that were by it, you know, that, that are part of it. I thought, why not shift the name over and put one of these little things here? So either put it to the right or the left. I'm not sure which way I'm going yet, but I thought I'd cut out all these little pieces and use these. And I think they're so cute. And then you could put, yeah, I like it like that. And again, these little pieces, these one and five eighths by half an inch for the name, all came from again the file folder scraps so we're we're really utilizing everything and then I am going to make tags um, with that one page so I really won't have much of this paper left except some of the cutouts but I thought some of the cutouts were pretty pretty large and I don't know if I would use them so I'm going to just put them away for now and when we get done with all our other Christmas projects, if I find a use for them, then I will definitely use them for something. Now you could put lace on here too if you wanted to, but I don't think so because we have the cones going on and we, you know, so we have a lot, a lot happening. Um, so I'm just going to take a Sharpie and I'll just put my name on here. And look at how sweet that is. I may as well put like a little snowflake. Next to my name. If I had a little stamp, that would be cute. Right there. Just, I mean, it's simple, but it's so adorable. Let's make another one together. 
I'm not going to make them all right now, but I thought it'd be fun to make another one. So let's do that. And again, just using all these scraps. I, I love that. I love when I can use all my scraps. You guys know that. And this glue is perfect for this kind of project. And this, you know, what's great about this glue is this glue is, would be so cool if you were doing this with your kids, you know, no one's going to get burnt with the hot glue. You know, you're not we're dealing with the art glitter glue, you know, maybe coming all out at once or, you know, like what I had the little mishap, you're not using Fabri-Tac, so you're not waiting, you know, till midnight for it to, to finally come down to the bottom. Um, you know, I'm going to put enough glue on that. Let me just push that down. And then I have this one. This is a little different because it doesn't match all of them, but it's okay because I'm not really worried about it. But yeah, this, this glue is great. And you know, it's great when you're working with children. And like I said, I like matting the backs. You don't have to mat the backs if you don't want. It's not a requirement, but I just, I don't know. I like to see it on, you know, because if you're sitting across from somebody, you'll get to see their little, you know what I mean? Like you'll see their, the back of theirs. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I wouldn't want to just see the Manila folder. Here, on the tree, grab one of my little ones again. And I was just thinking of a way we could really kick these up, and I might do it, and then I just might pull mine off and change it. <laughs> I get an idea, and then I'm like, oh, I should have done that instead. And I am going to do that instead. That's the only problem with the glue is I don't know if I grabbed enough. There we go. Oh, right down there. Okay, so then I was thinking, oh, maybe I should do this instead. What do we think of this idea? Instead of the snowflake, because I don't, I don't really like that snowflake. <laughs> I think I think my snowflake drawing is not that cute. Um, maybe put um, I don't like it like that. Maybe put it like right next to the name. I really thought that was going to be a great idea, and it's not. <laughs> I thought putting a little gem. I wonder if putting now. I don't know. Oh, you know what I could do? I know exactly what I'm going to do, guys. Hold on. Just hold your horses, because I know exactly where I'm looking, which is very rare. Very rare. If you saw my craft room, you'd be amazed that I could possibly find anything but I did get flowers that are not prima they're, they're uh, Hobby Lobby but they're on sale oh, this is going to be perfect but I am going to have to use the art glitter glue I'm going to have to use the art glitter glue guys but, oh look at these Yes, I could put a, I can alternate green and red. So let me, and these are $3.99, a hundred pieces, and they were half off. So if you can find those, scoop those up because they are cute. Let's see, let's see how we're going to do with this glue today. Ah. 
I refilled it, so it should be good. Oh, yeah, I love this. Look how cute. Oh, my goodness. Can you see? So It's so dark. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that it's so dark. I'll put it under there. You can't really see her name, but oh, I love that. I love that way better than my snowflake. But if you had stamps, you could really stamp these up and make these so cute. But there, got rid of my snowflake. Oh, look at how adorable these are. Oh, I got a gem stuck to that. Hmm. I don't know how that happens. But look at how sweet. I know it's kind of hard to tell, guys, but they really are sweet. I mean, if I bring it all the way up to you. Oh, yeah, there. Look at how cute. Aren't they adorable? Oh, my gosh, I love them. I just love them. Well, I might as well keep going. I might as well do another one. Well, I'll do David's. And since I have the glue, the art glitter glue out, I'll just use the art glitter glue since I'm... Since I have it out for the things. But oh my gosh. This is so adorable. Something different you know. I just. I don't know. I, I just love. Um, I think I cut. I think I cut that one too long. Let me just write it. Oh yeah this one's much better. I just love being able to use all the little scraps. I think it's just. So cute. You're not wasting anything. You know, if you're going to spend money for the paper, you should, you shouldn't, you should really get your money's worth of the paper. That's how I look at it. The paper should really work for you. If you only like a couple of pages or only use a couple of pages, it, it's not worth buying it. That's why I like to show you little projects like this. I mean, th this is just literally scraps of paper. Oh, look at this little dog. It says love. How cute. Scraps of paper. You know, leftover file folder from the big folio that we did, which was a big project. It was a great project. I love that folio. Yeah, we'll just do David on this one. <laughs> And then we'll be done for the night. Oh, this is just a, a, a very simple, easy project. But I thought it would be fun. As soon as I as soon as I saw how I did not like my uh, snowflake, I knew I was going to be covering it with something. Um, and then I remembered I got these flowers and they're just so sweet. I mean, a hundred, there we go. So there's our little place cards and I'll continue on making the rest for whoever's coming, but you guys get the idea. You get the, the gist of it. If they're just really sweet guys. And like I said, this is Hobby Lobby, $3.99 and it was half off a hundred flowers. This is what it says, Christmas paper crafts, just so you know. And they do have white ones, but I don't think the white one will go too well with this. So I'm just leaving it like this. But there you have it, guys. It's so stinking adorable. I love them. And we're using all our scraps. So think of that as an idea to go along with the cones that we made for your Christmas uh table setting and you know if you decide to comment i would love to hear what kind of christmas traditions everybody has um so if you make a comment i would love to hear about a christmas tradition that you may do with your family um that's really special i would just would love to hear about it so um you guys know what i'm gonna say stay safe be well and until the next time um god bless you all and bye for now